This video will look at modifying the approvals configuration in Employee Center in ServiceNow. Uh, so I'm in Employee Center and I have an approval here in my tasks and it's for an incident. And we can see here that there's not much going on. Uh, it shows me the number and the due date and this is of the particular approval record, uh, but absolutely no information about the incident. Um, so out of the box, that is how it is. Uh, it's basically, there's not a configuration set up. So what we're gonna do is go into the back end and set up a configuration for this. So we head over here to the back end and go to, I think it's two dash do. Yep, to do's configuration. And this will be for approvals. Okay, so this is the approvals, uh, the to-do configurations for the approvals. And then we go to the task configurations related list, and we can see that it's set up for request and request item, uh, but that's it. There's nothing else set up. So we want to set up one of these for incident. Uh, so let's take a look at, uh, as we always do at ServiceNow, you just look at something that's already there and kind of copy it. So this is what's set up for uh, request. Let's modify our scope to be in the same scope, which is employee center. Okay, so we'll change this to say incident and we'll do an insert and stay. Okay, now we have to modify this. So the reference column is still going to be approved for, uh, or approval for, I should say. And the reference table, though, will be incident instead. Okay, we'll save that. And now we'll go over to, um, well, here is the common info. So this is the uh, information that we saw at the top of the list, I think, although it's missing a couple things. We see the number and the due date there, uh, although we're not seeing the created in the state. So I'm not sure 100% what's going on there. Uh, but if we want to add some fields from the incident, we'd come into here, uh, primary info, and we can see that there's fields uh, from the reference table. So let's add the uh, short description and the description, say. Save that, we'll come back over here. Get rid of that, and there we go. We get the short description and the description. Uh, unfortunately, it just uh, starts piling fields from left to right. I think it gives you three in a row. So if we just, if we add a bunch more, uh, we're just gonna see it's gonna, we'll just do whatever parent. Right, so formatting uh, doesn't give you too many options there. It just keeps piling them on in three uh, with uh, in three columns. Um, so there's that's uh, kind of a downside here. Though there is this possibility to use a widget. I haven't experimented with that yet, but when I do, I will make another video of that. Um, so that is how you change the fields that are displayed for an approval in Employee Center.